Hello everyone, Kuri here, bringing you back another Kimmel Top Lane, and today, we are against, we are jungling, my bad, did I say top lane? I'm at jungle, alright, look, I don't know what's wrong with me today, but it's just, it's just, I'm just not, my brain isn't working today, but today, we are in the jungle, and we are jungling against a Lee Sin, and the runes I'm currently going into Kimmel Jungle are, press attack, try for Lacrity, last stand, and then we have Nimbus Cloak plus Celerity, so the reason why I have last stand, it's because I noticed something. Kamo's clear. Early game is not that good. So you'll probably end up lower HP. So if you are going to be lower HP and doing these ganks, the lower HP you are, the more damage last day will be giving me, right? That's pretty good. I am going to run straight over here for a level 2 gank. Though it's not very efficient doing Krugs. And then ganking into here, but hey, go in. Hey, good job. Good job. This is good. He W'd a minion too on top of that. Free! Free! Nice. <laughs> hey, good job. And now I'm going to attack some XP here because I'm trying to hit level 3. There you go. Now we're start moving here. I cut shut the wave entirely with her, but there's no reason to. So we're going to go invade the Lee Sin here. And and guess what? I have, I have Ignite in the jungle this time. Why do I have Ignite? Well, I realized something. Well, one, someone commented, can you do Ignite? That's one. But two, when you're playing Kamel Jungle, you don't need Flash, right? You can think of it as Shivana or uh, Master Yi, where you don't really need Flash. Like, it's, pre it's pretty much just a crush. Like, what is Flash for? Flash is pretty much essentially when you are... When you get caught, right? Very rarely you use it aggressively. Unless you're Kamo, obviously. But you don't need to use it aggressively. That's the thing. We're going to go straight over here. Hey, Lee Sin. Wow, this sucks tremendously, dude. Dodge that. Help! Help! I don't know why... Honestly, I don't know why this guy is here. This is so weird. I could have ignited him for Nimbus Cloak Moon but I don't know. That's so that's so awkward. Like, how do you path that way? He went from blue. Okay, so I'm assuming that he was doing this. He was doing Krug, right? He was doing Krug all the way over here. And that's pretty much it. But yeah, this guy's level 4 on me. I mean, to be fair, my my clear was not efficient at all. He is running straight over here to crab me? Or you? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm not sure what this guy's doing at all. Uh, yeah, but he is running to crab me. I mean, it's not much I can do about that. He's going to double crab me. So you are against a jungler like Lee Sin, who is definitely more efficient than me. My balling is unfortunately pushed in. It's funny because earlier my balling was actually the one shoving them out, but now they're the one shoved in, which means I can't really... I just simply can't do much. I can't walk up to get that crab. He's going to double crab me. That's just how it's going to be. Auto Q. Bad habit. I kind of forgot to buy my jungle item. Uh, Not going to lie, but you know what? It's okay. The reason why it's okay is because these camps, I haven't done these once, so they're not going to do too much damage to me, right? But I will have to back after I do wolves here and go for my thing. So you do have Ignite, I will be using Ignite these ganks, Ignite plus Nimbus Cloak is going to be giving me the movement speed as well, so if you think about it, that is another aggressive option, but I could have Ignited Lee Sin just for Nimbus Cloak to walk away, that definitely would have worked out. Level 4 right here, I'm going to max Q. Uh, actually, I might just make this gank happen over here, though Leona might perma CC me, which is what's going to suck, but I don't think she will. Maybe Varus can look juicy, you know? Like, maybe. Maybe he can. And if she continues walking this way, I should be good. There you go. Drop the W. I'm actually going to walk this way. Be in front of her. That way when she stuns me, I'm already there. And now she's forced to flash. Nice. She had heal. I didn't know that. You, you, you'd think they'd used it if they killed my Janna, but I guess not. <laughs> well, we have 30, we have 1,500 Godia. I'm going to back. Now, I know what you may be thinking. Kree, you can get Tiamat. No. Not at all. I'm not going to be going Tiamat. Tiamat is not good on Camille Jungle just because you're still going to come out. You're still going to be very low HP sustained. Because Camille's sustain is not the best in jungle if you go team at. Yeah, you're clearing the AoE camps, but you're still not sustaining, which is the issue. You can actually clear single um, AoE camps very, not easily per se, but decently well enough to the point where you can actually come out sustained if you have the Skirmisher Saber, especially when you are kiting and using your AoE abilities to hit both of them. It's very imperative that you do kite, by the way, because if you don't, then you'll just be taking too much damage, right? You can kite out jungle camps very easily. So if you're doing it terribly, then you'll take a lot of damage. But now my Volibear is pretty... My Volibear. My Arela is running the guy down now, which is really nice. They do the Drake right now. Lee Sin. We haven't seen him yet, so I don't know how much more gold he has on me. That's perfectly fine. Auto Q2. Take out the smaller ones. He's level 5 with 32 farm. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. So, we're pretty much playing against a jungler who has a better... A faster clear than me, aka Lee Sin. He's currently 2-0 on 1-1-1. No, not the end of the world, right? We're going to drop this W here on the Raptors. Look at the AoE burn do its thing. You want to kite out Raptors? Raptors is probably the camp you can actually heal the most from if you do have AoE damage and you are kiting it out. So do keep that in mind. Continue maxing Q. You could max E if you want, but honestly, I... Is it... 
Isn't Emax better? I'm pretty sure Emax is just straight up better, but I'm just very stupid. I mean, Qmax does help for single target camps. That is, that is the that is the perk about it because you are auto resetting, so you are doing more damage overall to it, which is really nice. Q smite. That way, you get the movement speed. I want to use that movement speed to run over to this guy as fast as possible. Hope Lee Sin isn't here. We're gonna drop a control word here instead of sweeping, and we are gonna pick this up. I'm gonna move this towards my. Pretty sure you got that right. Oh, you do not have that. You're gonna run down. <laughs> oh, you are getting run down. That's very unfortunate, you know. Normally, I would run all the way up there, but I did just want the Scuttle Cup just so I'm not too far behind. She hits those? No, she doesn't. And she flashes. Alright, nice. I'm gonna walk away here. I'm actually gonna tax here. Well, I didn't have to tax, but because I was in range, I actually soaked up XP from her, which is really nice. Aurelia, very unfortunate that you just kind of cut yourself. Sorry about that. Uh, my mother came in the room and she was giving me something. So I had to get up and go get it from her. Just keep shoving this out though. Let's see. 40 farm. Lisa's probably level 6 by now with me. But he definitely has more farm. And I'm going to look to go bot lane here. Just because she is overexcited. The fight is breaking out. So we're going to move immediately over here. I do have ignite and challenge my up. Uh, I'm here with you dude. I can't walk this way unfortunately. That's perfectly fine. I am going to sweep over here on my way. Sweeping up. There's the vision. They're not paying attention. I'm here. Hey this works out for me. Nice, challenge Smiter. Not gonna bother wasting my Ignite. I don't need to. Nice, good job. Look at that. Alright, so I will say this right now. I have not once had to use my Ignite yet. <laughs> Which is kind of unfortunate, but I mean, like, it's just so free. They just happen to be there at 2 HP. I don't have to bother using my Ignite. You're pinging to go over there. Why do you have 2 HP? No, she doesn't have 2 HP. She's Wait, does she have 2 HP or not? I'm not entirely sure, but good luck. No, she doesn't have 2 HP. That's a bug, then. Because she transformed her to Janna, but it says she had 2 HP. Very confusing. But either way, I am level 6, and I'm probably going to be using Ignite in mid lane, unless my Nico decides to use it, but I doubt it. I'm going to be able to use Ignite. Lee Sin does take the top side. I like that. Let's start moving over here. Don't worry, bro. I got you. I got you, man. We see Lee Sin right here. We have uh, roughly the same farm, which is really good. Press O. Q2. Drop W. Keep autoing. Oh, Jenna. Oh, you're sick. You're clean. <laughs> Nice! Now I'm gonna shove this out. Good job, team. Really good follow-up by the janitor. Keeping me alive, and I almost KS that with my E, but obviously not. Drop this Q here, take a turret shot. I will be living, and we are gonna back here. Now, I could actually go to my Gromp. Oh, not my Gromp. My blue buff and pick that up, but what's the point? Blue buff is a timer, right? Any type of buff. Your red, your blue, it's a timer. It stays on you for a short period amount of time. So, if you buy, if you take it and then you back, you're kind of wasting it, right? Uh, we are gonna go straight into a... I want Merc Treads, but I also want Tabby. I'm definitely gonna go Merc Treads here. They have a lot more CC. How much damage do we have? Honestly, ah, it's too late. I already went Warrior. I actually wanted to try to go Cinder Hulk on Jungle, but it's perfectly fine. Just because, especially in a team like this, where we already have a ton of damage, uh, Cinder Hulk is gonna make me the tank of the team. Camille's a tank is perfectly fine as well, don't mind you. Now, you can go Cinder Hulk in the Triforce, you'll still do a lot of damage, which is really good. But, I did make use of my Ignite there, which is pretty nice. Drop this W here. Lee Sin does use the Herald top lane. Or Volibear just has it on him, apparently. How's the Rayla doing? She's 2 and 4 now. I am going to have to gank her. I'm not going to have Ignite to actually cut the guy's healing, though. But that should be fine. Oh, he just takes that. Oof. <laughs> not much I can actually do about that. I am going to wait for my Rayla, though. I'm actually going to do this in case he actually face checks me here. Looks like he backs off. Wow, Rayla, you didn't even bother, like, trying to last at this. <laughs> That's, like, so interesting. She actually could have, but she chose not to. Fight's happening down there. Did you pick up the Lee Sing? Good job. They want to actually fight on this flank. Fight on this flank here. 2 HP. Nice. Good job. Very good job on my team. I'm going to keep farming it out here. I am going to go invade Lee Sin's blue side. Does he have any of that blue buff? None of that have blue buff. So that tells me that Lee Sin's top side should be up right now. And I'm about to counter jungle the shit out of him, okay? That is the plan. To take this man's camps and make him feel very sad. Um, this guy's going to run down. Oh, by Volibear. I got you, bro. Oh, no, he's good. Okay, you're good. Uh, Volibear is around there. They got to be a little bit careful. Volibear is actually not going to up for the play. All right, let's do this here. Ignite's coming up for 50 seconds. Not bad, not bad. You guys okay? Yeah, you guys are okay. Yeah, you guys are fine, right? Yeah, I don't have to bother to walk over there. Let's go over here, though. Gromp is up. My whole life flash before my eyes. Holy nice. By the way, forgot to mention so late into the video i'm currently playing with members of my discord server if you do want to be a part of that all you simply do is join my discord server having any account these things right here oh yeah right here <laughs> i thought he was gonna face check into me but he went towards aurelia 
The blind monk. You okay, dude? Oh, he dropped a word here. Don't mind if I do, good sir. This is why we have sweep for a reason, because we don't need, you know, place wards. We'll just buy control wards on our back, right? Uh, they are currently going for mid-plating. You okay, nigga? Like, you're, like, walking side to side. <laughs> I don't know why. We're actually level ahead of Lise. It was actually really good. We're ahead in farm, too. Look at that. Who knew I'd be able to do this as a Kamo jungle? Let's be real here, guys. But this is coming up. I do want this to be warded. Volibear looks like he is to be walking down. Is he going for this? He is going for this. Any people over here? Volibear's on this. Move to Drake, please. Uh, my bot lane's actually breaking out in the fight right now. This really sucks. Unfort. They don't die, though. Hopefully, nice. All right, I'm gonna have to path the long way around here. Arella does not have TP. She actually has Ignite. And she actually lost to Volibear. It's so interesting. Oh! Volibear's ulting in. Remove the turret shots. You're right here. I got a challenge to smite you. Stand next to her. Nice. That's why I fly over with her. I'm not gonna bother igniting her. I don't need to. Drop Q here. Not bad. I don't know where Volibear is, which is the issue. And I don't just want to face check into them. Because I don't honestly just suck. I think Volibear just walked away. Alright. Now, if Volibear's sitting in this bush, guys, I will shit my pants. But I don't think he's gonna... Yeah, he's not sitting in the bush. Nice. Let's do these camps now. Let's see. Farm difference. We're two levels ahead of Lee Sin. We're ahead by, you know, the numbers. Uh, he's going for mid here. I can actually kill him here. At least I think I can. That should burn down. Nice. Let's run straight to Millionaire. He's actually not going for the plane, but I will pick up the farm just because... The XP is lovely. Auto here. Wow, I actually missed that. That's tragic. Should be able to last at the rest. So I am going to go into a... So, with after you go Warrior, there's two options you can do. You can go Ravenous Hydro Rush, which I think is perfectly fine. It's a Camille Jungle. Or you can go straight into Triforce, which is more expensive than Ravenous Hydro, but not by too much, right? Only 300 gold. It really just... I think it's very situational heavy. I think if you're really snowballing really hard, then you want to go for a Ravenous Hydro Rush. When I look at their team, I see a Volibear that's 5 and 2. I see a Leon who's gonna essentially tank you with a bunch of armor. So that tells me I personally wanna rush Travis. Not Ravenous Hydra, but Trinity Force that way I do have the true damage. To actually deal with it. So the enemy team actually got both Drakes. And currently Inferno Drakes are is the map right now. So if you get four Inferno Drakes, the amount of true damage we're gonna dish out is actually gonna be insane. And what I like doing is if I do happen to go Triforce, I go straight into the Phage. And that way it does work out. Auto Q. Chop this W here. I thought of you once. Uh, she's not walking up. All right. I am going to look for the Scuttle Crab that's over here. We're going to sweep. No reason not to. If Lisa finds me, does he kill me is the question. That is my question. I do have Chinese my ending night though, just saying. I don't think he does. Truly do not think he does. Well, I can't solo Volibear. Now we need, now we need this tanky, if I'm being honest here. But I can dive this chick, and that is the plan. That's the power of Ignite, baby! Allows me to dive that. Obviously, you know, we have a Nico that's right there, but uh, if I'm being honest, I did not need her. I saved my ultimate because she was there, and if she wasn't there, Lee Sin, you're blind! AD Shield, smite, challenge it, might reduce the damage, go back in. He flashes me, but you're still dead. Oh, he hit that. I mean, to be fair, I would've just ulted, but yeah, man, good job. <laughs> nice cute, dude. Let's just back off right here. Sheesh! That was clean, if I do say so myself. And Chalice is my reducing the Syndra's damage, that way her ultimate, you know, doesn't burst me down as hard as it should. We're gonna go into two control words here, actually, because obviously I am rocking the sweeper, so I might as well have this on deck, and we're gonna start moving her. Aurelio, nothing against you, nothing personal, but I am gonna just, uh, soak up a little bit of XP here. And just do that. There you go. Now go pick, now you can have the rest, you know, I just wanna take two minutes from you. No harm, no foul, right? Yeah, I, th I think she understands. Let's go over here now, pop my refillable potion. Auto Q2 that one. Nice. 212 2 damage. Skyrocketing. Slowly but surely doing better. Make sure you take out the small ones. You always take out the smaller ones when you're doing Krugs just because it's it's just extra damage that's happening to you, right? And you can always one tap them, so it's really worth it. Why do you spawn over there, dude? Come on, man. <laughs> that's so unfortunate. We're gonna run straight down here. I'm actually not gonna run over here. I'm gonna run straight to top lane because Arella failed to push us out. She's supposed to push it past her, but then she can start grouping. But, since she did leave this for me, it means I can actually soak up some more gold. And, you know, it's always good to funnel yourself some lane farm. There's no there's no harm not to, right? So, let's definitely go for it. Wait a bit. Auto Q2, not bad. Next wave's gonna be right here. I might as well pick that up, too. And then we can look to do the Rift Herald afterwards. Yeah, my team, you guys can start it. But I'm gonna be there late. Uh, Inferno Jake is coming up. Alright, man, I got 
I got it, man. You're, you're Volar Bear. <laughs> you can stand there just to scare me. I, I got it, man. Auto Q, let's just take out these boards real quick. Start moving down. I'm actually going to save my smite. Don't back. Move to Drake. After this. I'm not going to smite this because I want to save my smite for Drake. It's better. Ah, eh, it's whatever. Let's start moving, though. Center right here. Guys, right here to Drake. You want to start moving here. You're spawning in 18 seconds. We currently have Pryo right now. Their team has to, you know, play with us. Now, we don't have to play with them. Keep moving. I'm going to drop my control word over here. I could care less about their ball and taking that turret. It's just more so important that we just take this immediately. And I will, you know, take the scuttle just because it, it is XP. Nice. I actually got it. That really stole it from me. Let's pick this up now, guys. I don't know where Lee Sin is, which is what kind of sucks. You can finish this now. Nice. I honestly failed to smite it. Oh! Get the bullet back! Challenge smite him. I don't have Ignite yet. I'm taking so much damage. Q2. One more auto. Nice walk away. Oh! Perma CC! There's not much I can do, man. Volibear's just so tanky. Like, how much damage did Leona do to me? Leona did 586. Like, bro, she's a support, man. <laughs> but no, she ignited me, unfortunately. If she doesn't ignite me there, it's okay. Moots, whatever. I need to ult sooner. Oh, she didn't ult at all. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta ult, period, man. <laughs> and, I right, whatever. We are gonna go into this thing here. We are currently 4 2 and 7. Not bad. My ignite wasn't enough, so we couldn't kill Volibear as fast as we wanted to, just because he was healing a bunch with this W, which is really unfortunate. Executioners, please, for volley. I will ping it. And I will type it out. And right now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to clear from bot side to top side. Reason why I'm actually going to clear this is because, uh, well, my blue is spawning by the time I get there or by the time I finish Gromp, it is going to spawn. But most importantly, if you see, if you look at the map right now, press tab. What, what's respawning, guys? Is it A, the dragon? Is it B, the baron? Is it C, my respawn timer? Or is it D, all of the above? Well, if you guessed Baron, you're right. Baron is coming up right now, and I do want to be moving slowly but surely towards up there, as well as clearing my camps. I don't want to run immediately straight to Baron and just wait, sit for 30 seconds, right? Being idle as a jungler is never a good thing. Well, as any laner, being idle is just bad. Unless, like, let's say you're waiting for a wave or something, but even then, you could be moving around the map, like getting vision, flying pressure, all that good stuff. But you, as a jungler, you always want to be doing something, especially junglers, just because camps are always going to be respawning. So you can always take them out. So we are going bot, bot the top side, clearing camps on the way up here. That way we can move towards the Baron that he's going to be respawning. I do have Chaining Force on my back, so I am going to back for that. But in case, let's say, my team made a better pick, for example, they killed three people instead of two, then we can actually look for Baron immediately. Auto Q2. Keep doing this, though. My team is doing their thing. Like, there are scenarios where things will happen like this, where your team does what they want. That's perfectly fine. Just just do your shit, man. You know? Just just farm your farm. Do what you gotta do. And you can actually solo Baron if you do have a Death Stance on top of your Warrior's item. Which I will probably end up doing. Because Death Stance, I think, would be pretty good this game. Or I could go straight into a Sterix Gaze. It's also gonna be very good. And apparently my Aurelia is gross. <laughs> she was feeding at first, but now she's actually doing really good. And now, as you see, there are three of them dead, like I just said, and I'm already positioned up here, so we can actually go for this Baron right here. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> you can actually do that if you want to, Nico. But yeah, I don't think I try for here, just because they're obviously all dead. Obviously, it sucks to do this without any more sustain than you normally have, but we do have a Jan here, so I should be just fine. Though, we do need our Varus. It kind of sucks that he did back. She is going to Redemption here. We do have that much DPS. She can also ult, by the way. Just to keep us alive. There you go. Nice. She actually got knocked up by Baron. That's so unfortunate. But we should be just fine to finish this off, which is really nice. I still have Smite as well, so I'm not worried. Smite. Hit that back button. Go for Triforce. We're actually going to go straight into Hysterics Gauge. Because like I said, you can solo Baron to Death Stance, but Baron's not. That's nothing to solo. So I'm just going to go straight into my Hysterics Gauge. You're just be a little bit more tankier. Faker playing as Baron. <laughs> I agree. Right now, they are formatting mid. I'm just going to wait for my team to actually walk up over there before I go. So I might as well do a drop. Honestly, this turret's dead. It's 2 HP. I feel like we definitely give this up. They're just going to auto it twice and it's down. I definitely feel like we just give this up. It's way too low. It's not worth giving. It's not worth actually doing it. And I'm going to run straight over here. And now I'm actually ready to make a play. But I do want to wait a little bit of time. Where's Volibear? Yo, he's that big ass dude is in there. <laughs> it's actually hilarious. We are going to sit around. Smack that. Sweep it up. Look where Volibear is and look where Santa's position. This is free! Haha, <laughs> free! Q2 kicks me into my team. It ain't gonna matter, dude. 
I don't have to bother wasting my knife for that one. You can actually look to make a play on this right here. There's a Leona right here, guys. Hit the W on her. Keep it moving. Oh, she actually stunned me. But I got Merc Treads for that very reason. Oh, you're going down. Nice. Just like that, we pick up another kill. The enemy team is currently here. I'm running with my Ignite to Volibear. Ignite! Ah, you ain't healing now, buddy. <laughs> and just like that, it looks like the game's actually going to be over. Wow. Insanity. Well, I couldn't... Unfortunately, this game also ends really fast, but like... You see how I was originally behind this Lee Sin? Like, I was just straight up behind. Girl, you don't want this, man! Kitsu! Woo! Save me! Come on! Woo! Let's go! <laughs> Jesus Christ, I was sorry. But anyways, as you saw, I was behind the Lee Sin. I was initially a level behind and far under. And look at this. I came back on top with three levels ahead of him, using Ignite. Using Ignite to pick up kills, all that good stuff. So that is the power of Ignite. So GJ played like one comment and subscribe to see you guys next video. Peace. Like think about it. I didn't even have to, I didn't even need to flash that game. It's crazy.